Hey everyone, today I'll be taking you with me to College Freshman Orientation, also known as SOAR. So the drive to Madison was about two hours for me, and we headed out bright and early to be the traffic before the first event that started at 11. The main goal of SOAR is to help you transition from high school to college and give you a feel of what it would be like to be on campus and part of the college community. Also, the goal for SOAR is to obviously register for your first semester of classes. Before that, we made a stop at the Madison Capitol Building. Beer! Next, we visited Liz Waters Residence Hall. And this is a Lakeshore dorm and where I'll be staying in the fall for my freshman year. The weather was absolutely beautiful and although we couldn't get inside, we did explore some of the surrounding areas and out back with a view of the lake. We did walk around back and we found the unit of Liz Waters that I'll be staying in. Out back, there is like a long pathway down towards the lake, and here they have a running and biking trail, as well as a porch slash patio area where you can get a gorgeous view of Lake Mendota. We checked out the area a little bit more, and then we headed over to Union South, where much of the SOAR events were going to be happening. On our way, we walked past the Computer Sciences Building, which is where I'll be spending a lot of my time. After picking up my WIST card, I headed upstairs to check out some of the info sessions they have. There's a lot to choose from, and basically you can go to three or more during that time. And then there's a little bit of wiggle room, so we grabbed a bite to eat before we started. We haven't even gone to the school yet, and we're already late for the first big meeting. We just had lunch, so now we're like 10 minutes late, and we're walking back to the Union. Alright. <laughs> Luckily we made it just a few minutes late to Varsity Hall where they had a big area and they were giving a bunch of information out to parents. And what I say that I was surprised, I was not expecting to have hundreds of tables filled with students and parents. And then they ended up splitting us into different advising groups. We walked over to College Library where we were going to prepare our classes for the first semester. I chose to go with the Cross College Advising Services group which definitely helped me explore different majors that I could take from another college that I not want to just do computer science. They had a big list that we could choose from, so it was definitely a big help to hear from them. In any way that's most helpful for you. We are the one of the largest advising offices on campus, so we work specifically with undecided and exploring students. We use the once we got a lot of the big group information out of the way, they split us off into smaller tables of four or five kids with a professional and peer advisor. So the goal was to get a long list of classes narrowed down by your advising profile and prepare to have them enrolled the next day. Back at Union South, they offered a resource fair where you can learn about different opportunities not related to academics, and then we waited for dinner. Dinner was just another chance to meet a few more people, and the food was kind of meh, but I really did enjoy the cilantro rice. Afterwards, the students went to the marquee to listen to a few presentations, and they also gave us the chance to be a part of some of the school traditions they have here. Then they split us off into sections where we did small group discussion before walking down to the Nicholas Recreation Center where they have a lot of cool facilities like a gym, pool, and workout equipment. For the sore kids, they actually sectioned off a basketball volleyball court where you could play some ball together or go up on the track. But for me, I went up into the studio where they had card games, board games, and friendship bracelets, which was really nice to just connect with people, but by the end of the day, I was definitely tired and ready to go home. It is currently 11 p.m. Um, 
the sore stuff at the Nick ended at like 9.45 and I got picked up and now we drove to a friend's house that we're staying at. Most people would either stay at the Union South Hotel, a nearby hotel, or at the Lowell Center, which is kind of like a hotel, but it's like dorm bedding and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna wake up pretty early tomorrow, go out for breakfast, and then go for sore day two. It'll be half day, so hopefully it'll go well and I'll get my first semester of classes. Uh, but for now, I'm tired of a long day of talking to people, so I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's currently 5.30 in the morning. A little bit early, but I watched the sun come up a little bit and in a bit we're gonna go out for breakfast and then it's time for the last steps of SOAR. For breakfast, we went to Mickey's Dairy Bar, which is located right near Camp Randall on Regent Street. Mickey's serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but obviously we were here for breakfast. So I got banana nut pancakes and my dad got bread and eggs. It was really good, but definitely a lot to handle. Afterwards, we walked on over to College Library where the enrollment would take place. And on our way, we stopped by Baskin Hill. Here's me contemplating my life choices of having to walk up that hill for class. And we also stopped by Memorial Union Terrace. And it was a lot quieter than normal without the crowds and music, but we hung out around the iconic chairs and just enjoy a little bit of time before it was time to enroll classes. Honestly, when I first came to SOAR, I was a little bit overwhelmed and nervous about having to meet new people. But I do think that coming to SOAR helped me feel more comfortable and excited for college. Finally, it was time hey, to enroll for classes. I thankfully already had a list, so I kind of compared some of the schedule options that I had, and after a little bit of work, I finally got my four classes that I'll be taking fall semester, with the chance of a little bit of wiggle room. So to celebrate, we got some dim sum, and by then, it was about two o'clock, so we all agreed that it was time to head on home. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for coming on this journey of Sword with me.